guys, welcome to another video. And today we want to talk about um, collector's editions. Are they worth it? Limited edition, day one edition, premium editions, uh, all those editions. Um, it's pretty crazy what's going on these days. Um, <laughs> so uh, some of you guys uh, maybe may not know or may know. Uh, I started back when I was 15, 16 years old, years old collecting games. And um, I got Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is kind of like a its own collector's edition in a way. Um, but later on, I got Lunar the Silver Star Story complete, which I was blown away with back then. I mean, it came with a making of CD, uh, it came with a soundtrack CD, uh, came with a hardcover uh, uh, instruction manual, which was like blew me away. I was like, wow, this is this is so freaking cool. I love this type of stuff. You know, that's when pretty much Working Designs was, was pretty much like in charge of that type of stuff. They were really, they knew how to put stuff out like that. Like looked really good. Um, but over the years, I would say, you know, a lot of these type collector's editions, they they don't seem to really be worth it anymore. I mean, I mean let's go into that a little bit. So um, recently, um, I mean, my buddy Marcus was here and we talked about uh, Resident Evil 2. It just came out and that had a, a couple editions that come out for it. There was standard edition. There was the uh, um, deluxe edition. Oh, God and collector's edition. Then there was a premium edition that came with a typewriter and all that stuff. I was like, wow, okay. Um, it it just it just kind of seems like the more, the farther in the generations we go, the cheaper the contents that come in the, uh, the these editions are. You know, it really seems that way to me. A lot of them don't really seem like they're really worth your time, you know? Especially if a uh, collector's edition comes with a lot of a DLC codes or something like that. It's uh, it's it's not worth it. Even the complete edition, which is what I usually try to go for, because I usually sometimes I try to wait it out to get a game. And I remember one time, um, there was Batman: Arkham Knight, fantastic game by the way. And I found out that the uh, the PAL version of the game was getting a complete edition. And I said, wow! So all the stuff, all the DLC is going to be embedded on the disc. This is great. I'm so so happy about this. And. When I looked at the game online, I was looking at the guy uh, talking about it. There's a video on it. And the guy's like, yeah, man, this is great. But all of this is just download vouchers for the game. They didn't even embed it, any of this on the disc. And I was like, man, that's that's messed up. And the reason why it's messed up because Blu-ray disc, they could hold a lot of space. You know what I mean? So I feel like a lot of DLC could have been added to the disc, like embedded on there. So you don't have to worry about DLC codes. Nobody ever wants to talk about this stuff. Like in the, like how, what's this, how this download code, I mean, the DLC that we're adding on, how are we going to be able to access it in the future? Nobody wants to talk about that because they want you to forget about it. But anyways, go on. <laughs> that's just an example of, of what I'm, of a complete edition. You have to be very careful on that. But going back to the collector's editions, um, I just feel like they're the newer ones today are just not really worth your time, uh, especially if you 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 get you pay a lot of money for one. Like let's say you pay like a hundred dollars for one, and it doesn't even come. It has a soundtrack that comes with it, but it's not even a CD soundtrack. You know, I think that um they, they will they'll give you a, a DLC code or like a voucher for it. I think they should at least if you're getting that if you're spending that extra money to get that edition, they should at least give you a soundtrack and a voucher just in case you want to use both and some collector's editions have done that I've seen it and I thought that was all right but I don't know it just seems like a lot of them aren't worth what they used to be or maybe that's just me getting older and not I mean not seeing it like everybody else does I, I don't really know I think that a lot of the stuff is getting cheaper there are collector's editions that I think that are worth having of course me you guys know how I feel about Horizon Zero Dawn um East 8, uh, that came with a, a magnificent collector's edition, totally worth the money. Um, the Vita version was 80 bucks, the uh, PS4 version was 100 bucks, and they both pretty much came with the same stuff, you know, exactly the same stuff at the time. So those were truly amazing. It seems like they really cared and they put their heart out in, into what they were giving us. Um, I just kind of think uh, when it comes to America getting like certain things like collector's editions um, we usually get the short end of the, of the stick and yet and yet we're like probably the biggest people buying all the stuff in them like we're like the biggest sales for a lot of these these gaming uh companies japan always gets such nice stuff with their standard editions and whatnot i mean they really go all out for them over there but when it comes to america they give us the cheapest of cheap like here's an example um my buddy uh kyle 
Uh, he knows how I feel about the Siberia series. Uh, I, I, I wanted to get the collector edition for that game, but they made it so difficult to get. It was just, I was like, forget it. So um, he found that they had a premium edition. And this is this is the crazy part. We got this, we got a standard edition over here. It cost 60 bucks, 65 plus tax when it first came out. And they got a premium that came with all this, like, like a manual and, you know, and all this, like, cool stuff. I was like, wow, why wouldn't they release that over here? That would have been nicer for us to have a choice to get that over here. But they... They just don't. They just don't treat America like that over here. It's just messed up. We, we get the short end of the stick usually, and power territories do too. So I'm not counting them out. But anyways, I know I'm trailing off. Going back to the collectors thing, um, getting a lot of these collectors editions too actually take up a lot of space. Now, if you're a collector and you're trying to, you know, build like kind of like fill in space, they're they're fine. You could do that too, but. I have to tell you guys the annoying part about having a collector's edition is always the part is whether you want to keep digging the game in and out of there you know dig i mean because pretty much it's wear and tear on your boxes and and uh, whatever you have it depending if you have a big collector box it's, it's just wear and tear on that stuff some games i have i don't even have them in the collector's box because i don't want to keep digging in there and messing up the box and everything so uh, that could be an annoying part about it too but uh, if you really do care about stuff like statues and all that big stuff that comes in those and you know or whatnot Then I guess it could be worth it for you But like I said, it does take up a lot of space and does and, and a lot of that stuff in there inside of them It really depends if it's worth it to you. I don't really uh, I Maybe it's just me, but I don't really care about that stuff anymore uh, I just mainly if I want a complete edition, I want it to come with uh, maybe a making of the CD if possible a soundtrack at least a manual is essential please give us a manual because that's just a manual is good art book and that just kind of that traditional stuff you know maybe i'm just kind of simplified and everything but um oh, maybe even a wall scroll a wall scroll is nice you could put up on your wall hang it up and everything but um i just think i got into the craze of getting thing in the collector's edition is is great just because it's a collector's edition and that's just not true uh, and I've come to realize that over the years. And I was like, man, why did I even buy this collector's edition? It's not it's not worth it. You know, it's like, what, what is this stuff in here? You know, um, I, especially, like I said, when it comes with a, a download code or something like that, it's just, it just doesn't really seem like it's worth your time. I mean, it's just a bunch of papers and you go and put the codes and just, I don't know, guys. But there are uh, collector's editions out there that I feel like they're worth it but it really depends on on you if you really care about that stuff I, w um, I will say this though I feel like there are a lot too many editions out here it seems like every game that's coming out has a day one edition a limited edition or or whatever edition coming out with it and it's really kind of confusing you know what I mean uh, it, it could be very annoying too you know like I mean you want the best for your buck and then you know it's just kind of like by adding that uh, this day one edition on here and all that stuff, they, you feel like it's exclusive. You have to get that one before it sells out because it won't be available. And that's kind of the trick they use on people to kind of like like, like get them in to buy a lot of stuff, you know. Um, I, I'm not falling into that trap anymore. I mean, there are certain games I do want day one, of course. Resident Evil 2, obviously. I'm a big Resident Evil 2 fan, a Resident Evil series fan. And I love that series no matter what. I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty serious. I love just about every game except umbrella core <laughs> but um yeah that game was something else but yeah it, it just like i said it kind of just sucks you in um you just have to be very careful what you what you spend your money on what you want to have in your collection is it worth it i mean it's nice having a, like a like, library of games to look at you know like kind of like a like a display but um if the contents aren't worth the price it, it shouldn't you probably shouldn't hop on it and a lot of times i see uh, these collector's editions that they put out um they don't sell well or whatever so next thing you know you go to a store like gamestop and it's sitting on like nino cooney part two i think that was sitting up there not i'm just saying like uh just an example i don't know what the price was but it was discounted heavily and there was a bunch of them at gamestop because no one like bought that because they didn't feel like maybe it was worth it or the price was the asking price was too much so you know you can get your collector editions like that you know um recently um there's a gate called Fate, the Umbrella, um, Umbral Star, or something like that. I think that, that's what it was uh, for uh, the PS4. Um, they, that game was around, I think it was around 100 bucks when it came out. And this is a collector edition. It comes with all this this cool stuff inside. It doesn't have a soundtrack, though. And I looked, I was just browsing on GameStop, uh, the app and everything. And it said um, they were selling it for 20 bucks. I was like, yeah, right. 
I mean, I, I figured like, yeah, the, the price is right, but it, it's not at any stores. And I looked up my local store, they had it. And I was like, wow, let me go pick this up. You know, that that's that's definitely a good way to um, kind of get collector's editions if you're into that stuff. I mean, you want to play a cheaper price for them. Um, but like I said, you're not guaranteed anything with that, waiting that long for it. So, you know, just an example. But um, yeah, a lot of the stuff, if it doesn't sell, as well as they want it gets discounted immediately when sales stop on it they, it gets discounted so if you really do like collector's edition stuff or just don't care what's in it you just want to collect it then you know maybe you could just you could just wait and i guess get it that way for a cheaper price and that'll definitely be worth it if it's extremely cheap you know then it's worth it but anyways i just want to kind of wrap this up sorry if i trailed off i just um collector's editions are definitely good for filling in space but sometimes it could get to be too much and like i said they're all di they're different sizes and they could like kind of like be awkward to fill in spaces like my tower here is kind of like a it's not falling over i have everything on there right or just right where i, I could grab it without knocking anything over but it's very weird and kind of live it all over the place i don't mind it but <laughs> that's just the, i guess that's just a little collector in me I, I do like certain stuff I, I i'm very picky on what i get when it comes to like collector's editions limited editions and stuff like that they really have to have some kind of value real value to it with what with it, what it comes with and if it comes with vouchers i'm definitely not getting on that i mean like if it comes with a bunch of vouchers that's that's horrible no way that's not a collector's edition that's a that i guess it's more of a day one edition or whatever it's so too many editions out there let's just say that the best edition is a complete edition I was, that's the best edition you could get with today's gaming as simple as that that's just the way it is but um if you can't wait for that edition to come out um you know choose try to choose what's best for you and what what you think is best for your collection i guess um uh, I don't want to like I, I don't want to collect too many more of these collector's edition type items because they, like I said they take up a lot of space and I want my stuff to be more uniform. But I mean if I do get a collector's edition, I, I am going to make sure it's something I, I'm my heart is into. And like I said, like I said earlier in this video, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, uh, Ease Eight, uh, Lacrimosa Dina, uh, that those editions were fantastic for me. Definitely worth having. So um, I guess that's all I want to say in this video, guys. Uh, uh, are they really worth it? Uh, you guys decide. Let me know in the, what you guys think in the in the comments. So you know how you do it, because um, I would love to hear what you guys think about this. Um, it's something I've been thinking about for a while, and I was like, man, you know, like, ugh, it's uh, it's, it's a slippery slope. So, but anyways, guys, radical Reggie, and I will see you later.